Independent Georgetown candidate Roy McTaggart and says he is not the political the leader of any political group. Good evening. I'm Mona Lisa Tatum. Well, Mr. McTaggart says he is looking for endorsement from advocacy group Coalition for Cayman. He will not pledge allegiance to any one leader but the country. Cayman 27's Tammy Suleiman has this interview. I don't look at myself as being emerging as a leader. Former KPMG chair and chartered public accountant Roy McTaggart says he is frustrated with what he calls divisiveness in the Legislative Assembly. Do you think, though, that the problem is not necessarily the party system, but perhaps the parties that we have right now? Would you say that that's where the disillusionment lies? Well, I, I, I prefer to categorize it as the, the party system because it, it forces, I think, people and, and, and politicians into a certain mindset and into a certain way uh, or positions that might not necessarily be in the best interest of the country. As an independent candidate, he says he is seeking endorsement from political advocacy group Coalition for Cayman. Here at the group's first public meeting, it told the country it is adamantly against political parties. There are those who are saying if it smells like a rose, it must be a rose. How do you argue that CFC is not a party? I don't, I mean, I, uh, I don't see that at all. They are, they are looking to endorse candidates. They're not looking to dictate to them where they go and what positions they should take. But Mr. McTaggart acknowledges that Cayman's 2009 constitution favours the party system, not making it so easy for independents in the Legislative Assembly. But it does not preclude uh, in a, a group of independents. With that end in mind, Mr. McTaggart says he wants to use his skills and expertise to curb Cayman's spending problem and drop the stagnant unemployment rate. He knows it will take like-minded people to effect that change within the Legislative Assembly. Tammy Suleiman, Cayman 27. Mr. McTaggart says he will work with fellow Georgetown independent candidate Winston Connolly. As for any others who may join them, he says we'll have to wait and see.